hallelujah hallelujah children of god hallelujah god bless you the bible says what i hear you say that is what i will do for you good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching me from and i say god bless you god bless you god bless you i really appreciate you all god bless you for all your support god bless you for coming to support us i say god bless you and by the special grace of god on this video i want us to talk about we that call ourselves a christian because we don't believe on what we practice you say you are a Christian, you don't even believe on what you are practicing. Because if you believe on what you are practicing, this is you will not run here and there. Hallelujah. But before we go into detail, I want to pray with you this morning. As you hear this word in the name of Jesus, as you hear this word, may God give you the wisdom. May your eyes be open. May the wisdom of God rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, may the eyes of your understanding be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I bless you for the life of the hearer this morning minute anyone hearing this message this many you are blessed the me the blessings of god is resting upon your life the wisdom the knowledge of god is resting upon your life in the name of jesus for in jesus name i pray amen and amen once again once again i say god bless you god bless you i really want us to talk about this because this thing has been bothering me because we say we are christian but we don't believe on what we practice because if you believe that you are a christian that's to say that you know god that's to say that you know that god can do all things and with him, there is nothing that is impossible. So if you know this, you don't need to run here and there. You don't need to go from one place to another. You are running through and toe looking for a solution. What a solution is just in where you are. Is in your door post. It's just for you to look and open. It's even knocking at your door. Open for him to come in. Why are you running here and there? And the truth is, you have spent all you have in a particular situation and you are looking for a solution to that problem. The problem is not solved. The solution is not coming forth. Do you know why? Because you lack understanding. The people that are supposed to be given to you are collecting from you. The people that need, that are supposed to help you are the one, even the last thing that you have, you have spent it all in the name of miracle, or in the name that ah, I want this problem to be solved. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and my sister, the Bible say, ask and it shall be given. Ask and it shall be given. Anybody can ask. It does not mean whether you are a pastor or you are a prophet or you are an evangelist. Anybody can ask. My, 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 my brothers and my sisters in the Lord, it's in hard time for us to wake up and open our eyes. You are be running here and then no, the problem is not solved. And you are still there. What are you doing there? Wake up, child of God. Wise up. This is not a time for you to remain where you are. This is actually the time for you to rise on your feet and believe on what you serve. As far as you say you serve God, believe, have faith. The Bible says, say to this mountain, say to this mountain. Therefore, it did not say that pastor said to this mountain or evangelist or a prophet said to this mountain. Anybody can speak to the mountain and the mountain will move. It all depends on your faith. How is your faith in God? Instead of you to activate your faith, to be able to move the mountain, to be able to tell the mountain, you down mountain, I command you to become a low ground and it will become a low ground because why do you know the reason why because you have the power in your mouth there is power in your tongue no wonder the book of numbers let's go to that place in the book of number 14 28 the bible says, what i hear you say that is what i will do for you hallelujah let's quickly go to that place quickly go to that place if you have your bible numbers 14 28 the bible says. Say unto them, say unto them, as I live, as Jesus live, as Jehovah liveth, says the Lord, just ask for, I said, just ask and speak in my hearing, speak in my hearing, 
He says, so will I do. When you ask and you speak in my hearing, anything you speak that come out from your own mouth, that is what he will do for you. That is what he will do. Praise my Savior. Therefore, there is a need for you to speak out. Speak unto him. Communicate with God. Praise Master Jesus. He did not say pastor or evangelist or a prophet or a teacher or a pastor or whosoever. He says, speak to my hearing. No, you that is hearing the sound of my voice. He says, speak. What I hear you say, that is what I will do. What I hear you speak from your mouth, that is what I will do for you. Therefore, you have the power. The power has been given to you. The authority has been given to you. You need to use the, the authority. The right has been given to you. You need to use it. Because if you refuse to use it, you will be falling victim every now and then. Many of us, we have fought victim in so many places. We have fought victim because why we are looking for a solution. Hallelujah. You are supposed to say it with your mouth. And when you say it with your mouth, dear, it will come to pass. It will surely, surely come to pass because why? God is with you. He lives inside of you. Hallelujah. He dwells in you because Jehovah dwells in you. He lives in you. Therefore, anything that you you say he will do it's just for you to ask him ask and it shall be given unto you praise master jesus anybody can ask it does not really mean whether you are a, 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 a preacher or not you must not bring a preacher for you to ask god you must not be a, a, a pastor for you to ask God for what you ask to be done. No, we have the right. We have every one of us. As far as you are a human, are you believing God? You have access to God. You have access to God. Everyone have access to God. The gate is not locked. The gate of heaven is, is not shut against us. It is we, human, that is using our own hand to shut the gate of heaven against our life. And if you want that gate to be open, you know what to do. You need to be closer to him. You need to believe in him. You need to activate your faith. These are the things that you need to do. By the time you do all these things and you put them into practice, my dear brothers and sisters, you will receive or you will see a turnaround in your life. I don't know what you are believing God for right now. You that is hearing the sound of my voice, you have run here and there. You have so a seed. Praise Master Jesus. You have done so many things they ask you to do. All to no avail, my dear brothers and my sisters. Come home. Go to your closet. Go to your closet. This is the word of God. And everything that you need to leave is inside this. Is inside this. This is God himself, praise master Jesus. Study the word of God. Get the understanding of the word of God. Believe of what you are studying in. Believe as you are praying that it is already done and it will be done. Hallelujah. It will be done. Don't wait for somebody to come and lay hand. Don't wait for somebody to lead you astray. Don't wait for so somebody to tell you yet this and that. It is time for you to rise up. Rise up as you are hearing me right now. I just want you to rise up and begin to and begin to approach that situation by yourself. You will see this. You will see the solution. You will see the result. This thing that I'm telling you right now, if you really do it, you will see the result. Hallelujah. You can fast. You can pray. My dear, you can do everything what others are doing. Even the pastors are what whatsoever. What they what what you can do, they cannot do it. That is just the truth. What you can do as a believer, they cannot do it. Hallelujah. If you really take your time to know this God, if you really take your time to pray, my dear, you will see a result. And I pray for you today that the understanding of God will rest upon you. May God open the eyes of your understanding in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you have the zeal to communicate with God. I pray that you have the zeal to to communicate with God in the name of Jesus. And anything you ask me surely come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And as you are praying, be patient. Be patient and continue praying. 
There are so many of us because we just pray a little, we did not see results. We begin to run here, here and there. Praise my sometimes it takes time. Sometimes it takes time. Not that God does not hear you, He's trying your faith. That is why you need to stand firm. You need to stand firm. You don't need to be shaken. And as you do that, God will bless you richly in Jesus' name. I hope this message will help you to understand who God really is, how God really was. What I hear you say, that is what I will do. That is the word. You say, as, as long as I live, as so Jehovah live, whatsoever that you say, that is what he will do for you. I pray that God will give you the strength to be able to communicate with him in Jesus name. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you all. I really do appreciate you. May God Almighty meet you in the point of our need. In the name of Jesus, may that problem of yours be solved. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you are hearing the sound of my voice right now, may God answer your prayers. Every secret tears, I pray this hour that that secret tears will be wiped away in the name of Jesus. And as so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. I love you. I lost you more. That is Jesus. Hallelujah. He loves you. That is why anything that you are doing, remember that he is coming very soon. Be wise. I remain my humble self and Vandele Silver Benson. God bless you. Till we meet again on my next video. Please remember to subscribe. Remember to share this video. Remember to bless somebody with this, with this video. And God will bless you. May that hand of yours not run dry. May, no, may that hand of yours not wither. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Till we meet again. In Jesus' name. Bye. Love you all.